Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in it he meditates day and night. I want to talk to you today about meditating on God's Word. And it's not just looking at it, it's not just opening it, skimming through, pretending you're reading, or reading Psalm 117 every night and just hitting the pillow. It's not meditation. It's reflecting upon what the Holy Spirit would speak to you on this very given day and what God would have you learn. And it's thinking about that throughout the whole day, ruminating on it. And Dawson Trotman once talked about cows as an illustration of this and how they digest food. So I want to take you to the fields for just one second. Cows have four compartments to their stomach, four large chambers in a complex digestive system. These compartments serve as filters and holding areas for food as it is continually processed. When a cow eats in a field, the food goes to the first stomach compartment. The cud is later regurgitated yeah, for more processing and chewing, and it goes to each of the other chambers progressively after those sessions. As a result, the cow gets tons of nourishment from the food, breaks it down, and processes it throughout the day. Similarly, when we read God's word, we should consider its message, think about it through the day, apply it to our lives, and get all the nourishment out of it that God desires for us to receive for the day. Did you know that an adult cow's stomach can hold over 50 gallons of food? That's a lot of capacity. May God give us a greater capacity and desire for his word in our lives, and may we always be hungry for more of him. As the Lord told Joshua, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. And as you meditate on God's word, just as God blessed Joshua mightily, I pray he blesses you. If this was helpful, you might want to move along and spend some time with God and really hear what he has for you to learn today. May we meditate on God's word, may we ponder its principles, and may we cherish the Savior that all these books point to. That's the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Savior of the world. Do you know Jesus? If not, I would encourage you to meditate on who Jesus is from Scripture. Gospel of John, great start. So meditate on that. God's Word has so much wisdom, and it's worth meditating upon. Have a blessed week. God bless you.